on this is Dave the mechanic I'm back with another video and today I'm working on my mom's 2010 Ford Escape and today I get to change the tail lights see these over here are working so I have a Phillips head screwdriver there's two screws I have to get out one here and one there Once those two screws are out, I can pull this light straight back so that you can see what was holding it in. You have these two pieces right here. They just clip right into these two holes. So all you have to do once you get these two screws on the side is just pull these straight back and they'll come right out. And now you can see both of your bulbs. With this one, you can just twist it counterclockwise and then it pulls right out. Luckily, I had some of these 3157s sitting around in the garage, and this is exactly what this car takes. So, I was able to put one in, and the light came right on. And um, this one is the reverse light. That came on once I put the reverse in. So, at the end of the day, it was just a bad bulb. Um, so, that's the uh, left turn signal bulb. I went ahead and put the bulbs in. Everything is good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. So just line up those holes and then push that all the way in. And then once you get that in, we go ahead and put our screws back in our hole. All right, so I have all the bulbs back in and the uh, the light is working now. If I was to turn the turn signals on, it would flash. And the reason why it looks like it has two bulbs in there is that the top one is reflecting from the bottom and making it seem like there's two bulbs in there. That kind of got me at first. I thought I had to change two bulbs. Well, that pretty much wraps up how to access and change your tail lights and your reverse lights and of course your tail lights is also your turn signal lights on a 2010 Ford Escape 3.0